trying a lot of carboneras recently from like a lot of restaurants and this is definitely by far the best. Wow. That is a Zara. That's like the most beautiful Zara I've ever seen. The first one is this jumpsuit. This is like honestly the best flavor I've tasted. Collective haul right now. So now it is time for the ultimate, ultimate favorite thing I've bought in this whole trail. So my host family took me to this beautiful okay. restaurant. Good morning guys. It is Thursday, June 7th and I'm actually currently making breakfast right now. Um, it's like 12 o'clock, but I'm eating breakfast because I woke up late. It's done. So I actually woke up late because we're only starting at two today, which was so nice because I got to sleep in and I got to like wake up like just like very slowly. So I think I woke up at like 10 and then started getting ready and just like kind of cleaned up a little and curled my hair, just like chilled a little bit. Yeah, usually like my host family does make me breakfast. They make me like eggs and like they'll give me prosciutto, which like I love prosciutto and they'll make me toast. But today I told them like not to worry about my breakfast because I was gonna wake up like pretty late and I didn't want it to like be like sitting out or like, you know, they have to worry about it. So just made myself some toast and I'm gonna go eat that. I think I have three classes today. They start at two. I think I get out at like 5.20ish. And after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I kind of want to go to this restaurant called Ginger. It's a really cute, like, all-white place. And they have the best pasta carbonara that I've tried. So I'm going to see if, like, some of my friends want to go. If not, I'll probably just come home and eat dinner here because it's totally fine, too. We are currently at Ginger. Class got out at, like, 5 because we got out, like, kind of early. I think 5.10, actually. But um, yeah, we're at Ginger, we're about to have dinner. I've been trying a lot of carboneras recently from like a lot of restaurants and this is definitely by far the best here at Ginger. So if you come to Rome, definitely come to Ginger. It's super close to the EF school too, so. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go to Zara after this yes. to get her some basic shirts. And hopefully I don't, stuff. yeah, hopefully I don't buy too much more because my suitcase is like, it already hit max capacity, but. We'll see. <laughs> so I just got this San Jose. It's with um, passion fruit, mint, apple, and something else I forgot, but it looks so cute. If you watched my other vlogs, you would know that we both got the same thing. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, that is a Zara. That's like the most beautiful Zara I've ever seen. These shoes are adorable, but I have so many shoes, I cannot get them. But just wanted you guys to know, love these. Bird, Bershka? I don't know, something like that. But I am trying them close, so I thought I would show you guys again. The first one is this jumpsuit. I kind of like it, but I don't like the way it hits on my ankles. Like, it's just straight and weird. I don't know, maybe with heels it would look better. So next we have this shirt, and I don't know, it's kind of tight on my boobs, and I'm not even wearing a bra today, so I feel like I should size up. I might have gotten the medium when I got this, but it's just like this cute little shirt, and it kind of ties. I'm not wearing pants right now, so I won't show you the bottom. But I might try to find a large and then get this. But as you can see, it's like, you know, too tight. Next up is this bodysuit, and I thought it'd be really cute for 4th of July, so I definitely wanted to try it on. I think it's really unique, like this design. That's it on this little try on part. I think I'm just gonna get this 4th of July kind of thing, and then this yellow one. That was pretty cute. So we walked out of Bershka and we ended up in this beautiful mall. Like this just reminds me of Milan. Not that I've ever been there, but I mean, the picture is kind of, kind of looks like it. Good 
morning guys happy friday it's also my last day of school and my last day in rome which is so crazy because honestly like this is gonna sound really weird but it still hasn't even hit me that i like am in rome like it feels like a dream it's not even like my life it's, it's definitely bittersweet it's been so so much fun here and i've shown myself that i can be super independent when i'm put in these situations which is really cool because i always like doubt myself and like overthink things so i'm definitely really thankful for this experience but you know i am a normal person and i do get homesick even though it's only been two weeks and literally haven't packed like anything pretty much but hopefully it will be easy because i have packing cubes but the thing i'm a little bit worried about is i did do a little bit shopping and when i was on the way here my bag was like 51 it's supposed to be under 50 so don't really know how I'm gonna get this all back to the states, but hopefully, hopefully it'll go well. I definitely had to come to Piazza Novana for my last day. This place is so beautiful. So one of my friends actually recommended me this gelato place, so I think I'm gonna try it. I've always noticed that there's a line here, so, you know, it must be good. So I got my gelato and it literally made a big mess, even though I didn't get it in a cone for once, because I thought I took enough pictures of gelato, but I still wanted one. But I got it in a cup and it still made a huge mess and it's still dripping. But this is like honestly the best flavor I've tasted. It's caramel, chocolate, and um, uh, cookies. It's called the Frigidarium. Flavors, so just so you know, best gelato I've had so far. Hey guys, it is 4 p.m. and I'm actually gonna go to dinner at 6:30 with my host family. And apparently, they're taking me to sushi again, which is so exciting because they kept telling me like the restaurant name. It's called Momo, if you guys know. But um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know what it was. They just kept telling me it was like super cute. And then Alessandro told me it was sushi, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that but for now I have a little bit of time to kill I probably should be packing but I thought I would do like a little haul of like everything I got in Italy I know in the previous vlog and probably this vlog too I showed you guys like me trying the clothes on at the store but I might as well just try it on again and just you know do a like collective haul right now so yeah so first I'm gonna start with the store Bershka and this is like apparently a cheaper version of Zara like it's kind of similar but not really like I feel like it's more trendy and like more teen but I feel like Zara is more for like mature ages I don't know that's what like I think and it's also more expensive anyway so yeah I got this bodysuit and I feel like it'd be perfect for Fourth of July because of this like design so this is the next shirt that I got and I love 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 this shirt it's gonna look so cute with jeans like rolled up and then just like cute sandals or the sandals that I will show you guys soon. So now I'm going to show you guys what I got from Zara. And this is definitely my favorite thing I've gotten from Zara. I could totally imagine myself wearing this like on the beach in Destin or Seaside or something like that. Next from Zara is this really basic black t-shirt. But it's so freaking soft and like comfortable. The last thing I got from Zara is this really cute cami. It kind of looks like lingerie and I love that style. Um, I feel like it's kind of long though. Maybe like I wish it was like cropped just because I have so many high-waisted things. But I'll probably end up like tucking it into like my shorts or like jeans or something. I feel like it looks better. It looks like a little bit more flattering. This is the last thing I got from Bershka. And it's just a jumpsuit with this fun pattern. And they did have like neutral ones like black and like white stripes. But I'm really into yellow now. I feel like it looks really good against my skin. So that's it of what I got for clothes. But I did get some shoes. And these are literally the most perfect shoes. I've been looking for like espadrille kind of things like platform kind of looking shoes for a really, really long time. And I've just been really picky because I don't think I like like the rope looking bottoms this is kind of just like a, like a wood looking bottom so i kind of liked it better i think i'm going to save my favorite thing for last so you guys will have to stick around but i'm going to just show you guys what i got for ryan and what i got for my dad um they are just some like manly leather goods okay so i got this wallet for ryan and i love 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 it so all around italy they have like leather shops but some of the wallets just kind of feel like cheapish and obviously they are kind of cheapish 
Um, but then I came across this one leather store that didn't really have like all like the bags that I like, but I feel like they were just more authentic and like they looked like they were kind of made in that shop. Um, but I could be wrong. I don't know. They just looked more authentic. But this is the wallet and it basically opens like this and it has like a little thing here and I don't know. I just think it's really cool. What's this? I guess this is for some coins or something, but I don't know if you can tell, but it has like a suede look to it. I just totally got like a southern vibe from this wallet. I feel like shopping for my dad is kind of like Ryan shopping for me. He probably already has everything or if he does want something then he'll probably get it like then and there. Like I'm the type of person that like can't really wait that long but my mom gave me a really good idea and that was to get him a money clip. Because I was thinking about getting him a wallet but he probably has like way better wallets already that he's probably invested in so I thought like a money clip would be a really good idea. The last thing I got for Ryan is a belt and I also asked him about this because I didn't know his size and I literally wrote down all his sizes of everything in my notes and I swear it got deleted. I have no idea where it is because I was trying to look for it and I couldn't find it of course the time I needed it but also it was kind of old so it's probably like different sizes now but this is the belt I got him and it's just like this dark like mocha brown color and the other ones kind of looked cheap I wanted to get this one because it's a little bit like texturized i don't know the other ones just looks like you could buy it at walmart but this one actually looks like a little bit nicer uh, i don't know if you can tell so i stopped by this really cute bead shop here and fun fact about me i literally had a low-key jewelry business when i was um you know like i think middle school no probably younger i don't know maybe in elementary middle school but i think i like mainly did earrings my mom literally still has like a pair of earrings that i made her and when i saw these beads i was thinking like oh my god i could easily make that into like a necklace or like literally anything but i think i'm just gonna make these all into necklaces so i got this white bead it has like this gold texture around it and then i also got the same one in black and the gold is like more pronounced on this one and the last one I got is this like purple brown bead and it has like glitter in it. I think I want to make it like kind of like maybe not like a choker but maybe right here and just have like all gold little little beads. So this is what this looks like. Alright guys, so now it is time for the ultimate, ultimate favorite thing I've bought in this whole trip. And it is this beautiful brown bag. It is super structured and it looks so designer, but it was just like $50 I think. And I bought this in Venice, Italy and it makes me feel so bougie. But I think it's so beautiful, it's really good quality, like it's so like hard and structured and I really like that because, I don't know, I feel like the majority of the purses I have now just like look kind of cheap and just feel kind of cheap. So that's everything I got from Italy. I kind of wish I got more, but I really don't think my suitcase could handle it. I don't even know how I'm going to bring all this back with me. To be honest, I have to like weigh it on their scale, but fingers crossed. All right guys, so we're going to go to dinner at Momo. They said it was really good sushi and a really cute place, so I'm really excited to see it. So my host family took me to this beautiful okay. restaurant. It's called Momo or Magisha? Magisha. Oh, okay. But you call it Momo? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's so beautiful Magisha. here. It looks like a wedding. Vi presento Maurizio. Io Claudia. Alessandra. Yay! And they've been so nice to me and so welcoming and I love it. They're so sweet. I love you. <laughs> Saturday it is June 9th 
it's currently like 9 10 so i have like about 20 minutes to get my shit together and go downstairs for the ef transfer to pick me up and take me to the airport it's the day that i leave rome which is really sad like i'm excited to go home but i'm obviously gonna miss this beautiful place but right now i'm kind of struggling because at first last night like i had pretty much everything in my suitcase except for like maybe my shampoo and like my toothbrush and just like very little things and so it was 48 pounds last night but now it is 56 pounds with like just literal toiletries i do not understand how it went up that much but i'm trying to like transfer some stuff into my backpack it's gonna be like such a nightmare carrying that backpack through the airport and stuff like that so it should be fun but Thank you.